Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Elena Today. If you don't know, my name is Elena and I'm an American living in Calcutta, India and I like to make videos about my life while I am living in India. So as you guys can see there in the beginning, I was getting ready for the day. It is Sunday, so my husband has off work. And every weekend or every other weekend, I'm, my goal is to try to find something new in Calcutta to explore. And so today we have a very long day planned for us. So this morning we are gonna go try out this new kind of breakfast coffee house. Um, and then we are gonna go to another little book fair. So I'm super excited about that. And then later tonight, um, the Hyatt Regency Hotel is having this night market going on. Um, never heard of it before. I don't know if they've done this before, but I think they it's just a lot of little stalls that they're gonna have. And they have different food stalls, they have clothing stalls, so a little market. So I'm super excited to check that out. And I think it was only going on the 30th and 31st, so just this weekend. So again, a lot planned for today, a lot going on. And so I'm excited to take you guys along with me today as I explore more cool stuff here in Calcutta. Um, but let's get going. Gonna get the Joey's platter, two fried eggs, two sausages, two ham, baked beans, french fries, and bacon with two pieces of toast. And then we are also, my husband's gonna get the barbecue chicken burger. Yum! Wow guys, what an awesome experience. Wise Owl was a great little coffee spot. We would have been we would have enjoyed it better probably outside because it's such a beautiful day, but it was already pretty packed. But the food was pretty great. Um, my husband was originally gonna get the barbecue sandwich, but unfortunately they were all out. And so we did end up getting the meat lover sandwich. Um, and unfortunately it just didn't have a lot of flavor to it. And instead of it being like a chicken sandwich, it was more of a chicken salad. And so I don't know, for some reason it just wasn't that much flavorful. But then I got like the major breakfast platter and it was very good. It had eggs, had ham, had chicken sausages. So very delicious. Um, and the coffee was very good and not that expensive compared to like cafe coffee day um, and they had a, uh, I had a caramel latte which was very delicious but cute little quaint little area and we came on a Sunday so luckily the parking wasn't too bad we found easy parking and it was just really nice so um, unfortunately the book fair doesn't open until 2 p.m. and it is only 1 p.m. right now so we're gonna go to my husband's office for about an hour and wait there while he gets a little bit of work done because the book fair is close to Howra area um, but I'm excited to check out those books and I can't wait to see if there's anything good to get
So while Troy looking for the mini book fair, we kind of got lost and instead wound up at this place called Ch Chete Put Fest. So I guess it's like a food festival and this is all of the restaurants or food vendors that they have here. But it was really cool. We It was only 20 rupees to get in and they had all these different types of food vendors. And I ended up wanting to get, um, I got some chocolate and they had lots of little chocolate vendors. And then I ended up trying this Turkish ice cream place. I was really nervous because I knew from watching YouTube videos before that they play tricks on you. And But I really wanted to, to try some because I've never had it before. And as you can obviously see, my husband is the one recording and sorry, he held the camera wrong. But this was a lot of fun. It was a little embarrassing though because I, I kind of, I gathered a crowd watching me, but the ice cream was very delicious and it was very good. And the the vendor, he was he was fun. He was so funny. But if you guys get a chance to ever try Turkish ice cream, I would definitely suggest it because it was so good. Finally, we were able to find the mini book fair, and it was a nice little area. They called it the Boy Mela 2021. What's cool is they had this, uh, they call it the magazine area, and it was just like a row of book vendors. And my husband is there with an uh, old time friend we met up with or found when we were there. Unfortunately, it was a great concept, great idea, but it was all Bengali or Hindi books, so no English books. So unfortunately, I was not able to get any, but it was still really fun to go and check it out and see how the event was. But we didn't stay too long because it did get pretty crowded in there, So, um, but it was still a lot of fun to, to check out. This was my most favorite event of the night or of the day, and it was the night market at Hyatt. It was nothing what I expected. I really thought they were just going to have a couple of stalls where you go and buy food or clothes. But instead, they had free live music going on, and it was a free event to go in. And they also were serving some alcoholic beverages and food. You did have to pay for the food and drinks, of course, but it was so nice and the weather was really nice as well. And the atmosphere was awesome. And for it being a free event, it was so cool. So we basically just sat there for a couple of hours listening to some good music. The first band sang in English and then the second band, which you'll see here in a little bit, sang mostly in Hindi. I'm sorry for the music quality. It sounded so much better off the phone, but I hope you guys enjoy the next couple of clips. Basically, um, I got a chicken pizza and my husband got butter chicken. The food was very good. The drinks was very good as well. And all together, just an awesome evening out. Alright guys, so it is obviously the next day, you know, we came home at a pretty decent hour, but I just wanted to spend the rest of the evening with my husband. It was a lot of fun this weekend or Sunday. We had a great adventure, found new things that we weren't expecting and it's just, I love it. I love when we explore the city and when we find new things. So um, before ending this vlog though, um, in my last book fair vlog, um, a lot of people were sad that I didn't share the books that I got. 
And so originally I was going to combine the books that I found at this book fair and the last one and show you all the books that I got. But as you can see, all the books this time were all in Bengali or Hindi, so I unfortunately did not get any. But that's okay, no problem, it was still a lot of fun. Um, so just real quickly, I don't have that many, but I'm just gonna go over them with you. Um, so I have The Mine here, and I'll, I'll put up a picture here for you guys. Um, I've read The Mine already. It's a, kind of a scary thriller type of book, so if you're into that type of thing, then this will be for you. Um, so I read this one or got this one. I've actually already finished this novel as well, Evermore, The Immortals. You know, it's kind of like a teen romance novel, um, but it was a lot of fun to read. So if you're interested in books like that, this would be fun to read. Then one of my favorite things that I was able to find was this series of books by Dale Carnegie. I've actually read um, the How to Win Friends and Influence People, which I love, and it's great, and the other four books um, I know will be a great self-help books and he just is a great author um, and has great advice for people. So Dale Carnegie, again, I got the series or set here. So that was definitely a win-win situation for me. Then I got The Ascents of Gandhi and Thought, a cute little uh, book here. Um, I'm excited to read, uh, go through and read this. I got Mother Teresa Inspiring Incidents. I just saw it and really wanted to read a little bit about it. So, um, and it's not a very large book, so this will be a quick read to go through. And I'm also super excited to read this, The Sky is Falling by Sydney Sheldon. I have never read her books before, but um, I really like watching thrillers and crime shows and so um, I'm not used to reading criminal books so I am super excited to read this and see how I like it. Um, and then of course my husband I also got a couple of books. He got Railways and the Raj, How the Age of Steam Transformed India. And then he also got Democracy on the Road, a 25 year journey through India. So he's also trying to pick up some more reading as well. And so we try to now, or we've been trying to, not very successful. So I'm hoping this month will be a little bit better, but um, hopefully reading at least 30 minutes to an hour at bedtime um, because you know he's pretty busy all day and doesn't really have a lot of time. And we're always on our phones right before bed. So instead of doing that, we're trying to read more instead. So we've done it a couple of times last month, but we're hoping this month we'll really pick up on it. But those were all the books that I got um, at the book fair, the last book fair. And so, yeah, I don't know if there's any book fairs coming up anytime soon, but if they are, I am definitely going to explore them. Anyway, guys, that will do it for the video today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it really helps to support my channel. And also, if you want, you can hit that notification bell because it'll just notify you guys every time I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.